Long Shabbos. Mm -hmm. How long do you need? Okay, Chazorah from yesterday. Okay. So Rav said it needs to be one quarter of wine. Weaker wines will have different measurements. Um, that we said on that, that's the Hasidim that base their uh, that base their kula of making uh, Kiddush on schnapps on a shot glass is based on this Gemara. Um, a revius of liquid is a kazayas of solid, but then we said maybe blood's different than wine because blood's thicker. And then the Gemara goes through a whole thing of how we spell words, what it's based on. And then the measurement of a mother's milk, the measurements for honey, Hashem created everything for a reason, it goes through all those things. <laughs> And then uh, Reb Zayr explaining all sorts of mundane things and the measurements of oil that's the size of a small finger or the finger of a child. That's actually, we didn't do that part yet. Okay, so Zagdi Gemara. So I'm reading, yeah, we're on, we are on page 154, our Ayin Zayin Okay. Um, yeah, we got it. Shem get a loss of Aver Cotton. Yeah, oil in order to, to smear. We're saying, what's the amount of oil that you're going to be high for carrying? It's enough that you can smear oil on a small limb. What does it mean, an aver cotton? It means the smallest limb on a cotton that was just born, meaning a cotton that was born that day. Okay? So they ask the Kasha, Shemen, Kedei Losuf, Aver cotton. The cotton ben yoimoy. It says shemen is enough to smear it on an aver cotton and a cotton ben yoimoy. My love, what does this mean? Aver cotton, the godol. It must doesn't doesn't it mean an aver cotton of a godol, the smallest limb on a godol. The aver godol shall cotton ben yoimoy, or the largest limb of a cotton ben yoimoy. Right. So Gemara thinks that maybe it's not the smallest limb of the smallest of the youngest. I'm not clear of yanai. Loi, no, that's not the way you read the price. Oh, you come a shemen today, loss of ever cotton shall cotton ben yoyme. It means enough to smear on the smallest limb of a, of a baby that was born that day. Lema ketanoi, which is mashma that a baby born day one is smaller than a baby on day two. Right? I, I don't know how, how much growth you have between day one and day two. Right? If anything, maybe the babies get smaller. That's what they say, right? So you do, the baby know. doubles its weight in the first week. Whatever the baby no. was born in the next in week, a week, no, in a week no, doubles. Not true. No. A week, not true. a week, a week. A baby, a week. tell me a baby. It's not baby. true. No, it's no, not true. The baby loses not true. immediately. Not true. A week, two weeks. One of those. No. No. Like Shkaya, Shkaya, thank thank you. I think at least. Hey, I knew it was somewhere around there. Six months they double the weight? My oh, mother said six months. Birth weight, birth weight. No? Birth, double the birth weight? All right, Listen, whatever. Reverend certainly it. knows much more about this than you do. <laughs> Let me tell you yeah, something. I sure. double my weight. I, I feel like I double my weight every week or two, but that's that's something else. I'm going to look it up. Fine. All right, you I'll, look it up. Look, Not while back. you're driving, all right? Not while you're driving. Okay. Yeah. And no what's all the calls for newborns either. Okay. <laughs> Let's say this is a machloikas tanoim. Shemen kedei losach aver cotton. It says oil in order to to shmir on an aver cotton, the cotton ben yomer and a cotton ben yomer. Did we read Yeshimur Alaza? We're not saying kedei losach aver cotton. He just says he says it vague in order to shmir on aver cotton. My lab alkamivdiki. This must be the machloikas. The Rav Shimon Alaza zavar aver cotton shall cotton must mean a small aver of a of a cotton. We're not saying zavar aver cotton to gadol. A, a large aver, a, sm a small, a I'm sorry, small aver of a godel, or aver godel the cotton, or a large aver of a cotton. I will aver cotton shall cotton my yamel loy, but the smallest cotton of a one day old baby that's not enough, meaning that's way too small. So we say loy the kuli yamel aver cotton the cotton ben yamel ben yamel loy that's too small. But less of the rabbiyane and nobody holds the rabbiyane. Well, how can we tell you? <coughs> and here's what the machlek is. Rav Shimon ben Elazar saw Aver cotton the gadol, the Aver cut the Aver gadol the cotton ben Yoimik he had dadi nilu. Right, this is interesting. He's saying that the uh, the smallest limb of a gadol and the largest limb of a one day old is the exact same measurement. That would be interesting scientifically, if that's if that's uh, really true. I don't know exactly how you would prove that. Rav Nasan saw Aver cotton the gadol in Aver gadol the cotton ben Yoimik loy. 
an aver cotton of a godel, yes, of a aver godel the cotton and yoim with loy. My have a lot. What's the bottom line? Toshima, the Tanya of Shimon Lazar. I'm a shaman could they lost a aver cotton shall cut them and yoim. The mice we say that it's a very small shear. The amount of oil that you be high on for carrying out is to the aver cotton of a cotton and yoim. This is, I guess, all assuming the the previous one is all assuming that that limbs are for the most part the same size. Right, I mean, you have people with larger limbs and people with smaller limbs. So I don't know exactly how how uh, how do you understand that exact uh, gemara. Right? Okay. Mayim kudei loshu behen es akila. Right? Water. What's the measurement for water? To smear on some sort of eye eye uh, ointment. Amar abayim michti kol misu de shricha v'loy shricha azar abanam basu de shricha lekula. If you have meaning, if you have a few uses, right? The Gemara is basically in all these, this whole perek, or most of this perek, on the amounts that one is high for carrying, right? So it's all based on what's the normal use of these, of all these particular items, right? Whatever the normal use is, that's what you're high for. What happens if you have multiple uses that have different amounts? So now which ones do you go with? So Abai says, Michti, let's say you have a use that's common, and then you have another use that's not so common. So then, also Rabbanon pasa the shechicha. The Rabbanon go with the common use, lekula. If it's if it's lekula, shechicha v'shechicha. Let's say they're both common, meaning they're equal. Their uses are equal. Also Rabbanon pasa the shechicha lechumra. Then we're going to go with the stricter one, meaning which is obviously the smaller measurement. So yain shesiyase shechicha to drink wine. That's the common thing you do with wine. I think everybody on this staff would agree with that. Right, refuasa lo shchicha. It's refuah is not common. So as a rabbanon basa shiyasa. So we go with the amount that somebody normally drinks. Um, the shchicha um, shiyasa the shchicha lekula. We go with with the amount that you normally drink lekula, which is a revius, right? For the most part, that's a revius. Chalav achilasa shchicha. Chalav, it's common to drink milk. Refuasa lo shchicha. It's refuah is not common. So as a rabbanon basa achilasa lekula. We go that with the eating measurement lekula tvash. Honey, achilas eshchicha, rufuas eshchicha. Honey, to eat it is common. To use it for healing is common. Also, rabban and baser rufuas and lechumra. So then we go with the rufuah and lechumra because you need a lot less for rufuah. Ella, all the seven liquids right now. Um, are we going through all the seven liquids? Um, that's no, something I covered today. What? That's something I covered today. Oh, uh, um, I don't know if it's going through all seven. Uh, well, I think it's not here, but that's four of them. That's four of them. El Mayim for water. So water, right? The shesia is common. Rafua is not common. My time also Rabban Abbas of Rasi Lechomer. So why are you going with the Rafua Lechomer? You're supposed to go with Kula. I'm a rabbi of Glila Shano. It's about Glila where it was very common to use it for Rafua. Rabbi Amar Filu Tamer Basharma comes. It's even talking about other areas. Any any liquid that you use on eye for this eye, you could use any liquid to make this paste to put on the eye, right? So the other liquids will make somebody blind. I don't. I think it's a temporary blind, right? Um, because they don't. The the cream stays on the eye for a long time. Except for water, the muscle of the metalli, but except for water that heals and it does not make the person blind, so it basically just goes into the into the eye. So uh, so therefore, it's it's better. So therefore, it's a common thing, right? Why did why did the Gemara switch the lashon from wine to milk? Wine was shricha shsiyasei and chala was achilasei, not shsiyasei. Was chalav used primarily for kutach? It was uh, eaten, yeah, not that's drank. a good. That's a good point. Lachari, you're right. They probably used cheese more than they more than milk. No, I don't know, something like that. Lachari, that's a good deal. Yeah, I wasn't aiming on that. Yes, lachari, that that's what that would be. They probably had cheese more than they had uh, milk. So they might be different then. You're saying Today now they drink it. <laughs> Certainly nowadays, with everybody getting that milk, like it's going out of style. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, Lachari, you're right. I think milk is more common to be to be drunk nowadays. Yeah, and Lachari is a good order, I think. Yeah, very good. Right, Bashar Kolamashkar Revius. Every other liquid is Revius. Tarabon Dam. 
blood, bechom yinei mashkin be revius. Dam in any type of mashkin is a revius. B'shem and Allah zarayim a dam kadei lukcho ba'ayin achas. Dam is in order to put uh, to put your shmir on one eye. She can kaykel in the barkis because we're kaykel into barkis. Barkis is some sort of thing that's um, something sticking out of the eye. I don't know. Is that a sty? Maybe I don't know exactly how how you would. It's something that's sticking out of the eye that you put it on there. Umayin who domet tarnagolta bro. It's the blood of a tarnagolas that runs around outside. It's blood in order to do on one eye that they do kaiflit by yare. That's yare is a, a cataracts, maybe? I think I, I looked it up today in the art school. It's cataracts? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to exactly help cataracts, but I'm no doctor. It's the blood of a krishtina, which is. Uh, uh, I just I don't remember how you touch it. Uh, uh, a mole. Art school touch that as a mole. What exactly is a mole? Is that like a mouse? No, a mole is like a... It's like a, birth, a it looks like a birthmark. No, no, not a mole on the skin. I thought that, no, it's a mole. It's a mole. A mole is a rodent. It's a rodent. Yeah. yeah. It's rodent? a big rat. Uh, a mole is a guy that... Burrows rats. underground. No, that's, 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 what, that's what we use in mole. Okay, so yeah, what? Okay, so basically, the Gemara has two things. A mole, a mole doubles its birth weight in the first week. What? A mole doubles its birth weight in the first week. Just ask yeah, me. Whatever. There you go, huh? <laughs> okay. But anyway, so there's two eye things. One is external, called barkis, and one is internal, called yarid. Right? That's called what do we call it again. Uh, what was it? Yarid? What we say? Cataract. Thank you. Cataract. Right. So one uses the wild chicken blood and one uses a mole's blood in order to, to heal it right uh, the way to remember it is that the inner one which is the cataract you use something that hangs out inside which is the mole the mole is usually found around houses bra the thing on the outside of the eye libra is for the is something that hangs out outside the city which is the wild chickens when do we say all these these uh, measurements? That's for somebody who actually carries it out. But if a guy just hides it, meaning, let's say you use it as a smaller a smaller amount, right? So what, even you have the smallest amount, meaning, let's say somebody is very particular about a small amount, meaning everybody else would only use a revius, but he likes to have milk in this amount or, or uh, honey in this amount, very small amount, then he's going to be high on that. When did we say these words? That's by Matsnia. A Matsnia, we said all these different measurements, but for Maitzi, it's only Chayva Revius. And the Chama, Maitzi, Rabshim, Maitzi, Shaykhan, Roshas Arabim, Shish Yurim, Revius. If somebody's taking water that's dirty and he's taking the Roshas Arabim, that everybody holds, that's, that's always going to be with the Revius. Right, now the Gemara analyzes this whole Matsnia business because it's a little vague. So, Omar, Mar, Remed, Omar, Maitzi. Um, but that when do we say it? That's why when you're taking it out. But if it's hidden, it's a kosher. Isn't the person hiding it, taking it out? I mean, what we, why are we differentiate between somebody hides and doesn't take it out? If he hides it and doesn't take it out, so what do you do wrong on Shabbos? He's hiding that amount, a small amount, and he's taking it out. So why are you not calling him a maitzi? Just a technical question. It seems like there's a maitzi and there's a matzniya. It doesn't I mean the matzniya, the guy hiding it also has to take it out. And I don't know why the Gemara picks this muscle, but it's talking about a Talmud that his Rebbe told him, Go, you know, clear the area for a Suda. Um, um, he goes and he, and he brings him something. Um, um, I'm sorry, how do you mean this? Um, I'm sorry, if it's Dover Choshev for everybody, meaning everybody says, oh, this is a Choshev thing, Chayev, he love it, he's Chayev on it. Dover Shein a Choshev Lachol, if it's something that's not Choshev to everybody, he atzne rabe, Mechayev, he love it. If his Rebbe would keep that amount hidden, meaning to his Rebbe, that's a Choshev amount, then he's going to be Chayev. He loved like Mechayev, and if not, then he's not going to be Chayev. Right? So he's saying that's basically, it's subjective, but it goes basically on the person who you're hiding it for. Right, so since his Rebbe would be mocked on this amount, so then 
we're going to go with that too, which we said uh, uh, two blocks ago. Okay. Right, the Chama Mai Zerav Shimon, where you take out um, water that's dirty to Rosh Hashanah, that the Shir Zerav Yisrael Shaykh on the Mai Chazi. What is it? What are, what are you doing with dirt, dirty water? Rav Yirmi Lugalva Benasatit. What you do with dirty water is you use it to make cement or mud, mud packs, whatever it is. Vatanya Tit Kedei Lasiv and Pikur. We said that Tit is in order, the amount of Tit to carry out is enough to make a Pikur, which is the mouth, the mouth of a bellow. Like which we'll see on Amar Beis, like Kasha Hadu Megavol Hadu Lo Megavol. One is somewhere where it's already ground up. One is somewhere where it's not ground up. If you shein Adam Terech Megavol Tid Lasis Pikur, a person is not going to try and make. A person is not going to try and make. Uh, um, person is not going to try and make a whole. Uh, um, what do you call it? A whole mix with cement just for that small amount to put at the, the opening of a bellow, right? But if it's already there, so he'll add more to it. So that's the discrepancy in the two shiurim. Okay, fine. So I'm trying to make this, find some interesting stuff negate to this, to, to all this. I, so far, I have, not, I have not found it. If anybody has anything practical that they think that comes out of this, please let me know. Fine. So um, how about a rope? What's the minimum amount of measurement for a rope? Because it lasts its eyes in the kupa. In order to make an ear for a for a box, meaning a handle, gemi kedei lasis talai lenafulikvara. A gemi, which is some sort of rubber type thing, is to make a a uh, also like a handle to, for a nafanikvara for sifter sieve and a sifter. We had that by Bayer. It's enough to take the measurement for shoe measurement for a katan. Fine. That's that's a gemi. Near paper, in order to write on it a tax receipt. Somebody who carries out a tax receipt on Shabbos is going to be chayev. Near machuk, erased paper, meaning it's paper that was written on and now it's erased. So Rashi says you can't really write on it anymore because once it was erased, it's useless. So since you can't use it for writing anymore, so now you use it to seal. A uh, the small the small bottle of uh in a perfume. What did you say it was again? Um, what do you what do you call it? Uh, Asher Frankel, didn't you have a thing you said? Yeah, it's called a vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. There you go. The vinaigrette, right? So to cover, I guess if you lost the cover of your your thing, your vinaigrette. So then you would use this erased. New York, we're calling it paper, but it really means parchment, All right? So that's what you would do with it. Very good. Thank you. Or Today, lasis kami a leather would be enough to make a amulet, cloth. See, that's why in New York we can't really call it cloth, um, because I mean they did they didn't really write. I mean it was paper, maybe it was cloth. In New York it's cloth paper. Cloth is is parchment. Today, lichta have a love parsha katana shabbat fillin shehishema yisrael. That's the cloth. In order to be chayiv for carrying a cloth, would have to be enough to take to. Write the smallest part of tefillin. The yoy, the ink. They look like base It would have to be enough ink to write two letters. Chol. Could they look like chol? Is is what do you call it? This blue ink. Could they look like ayin achas? That to put over one eye, to put eye makeup on one eye. Devek glue. Could they leave them rosh hashavshet? Is to to put enough glue on the top of a, a shavshet. I don't know how do you touch that. It's a and the Gemara is going to explain it, but it's on, it'll be on the top of something that you use to trap animals. Zephes, the gophers, pitch, and also a type of, uh, those are both types of pitches. Kedei lasis nekev, nekev, in order to make a hole with it. Yeah? Shava, kedei lite napi nekev kotam. Wax is to put it onto a small opening of a bottle. Charsis, kedei lasis pikor shel tzar bezav. And charsis, which is some sort of cheres, uh, earthenware, is in order to put it on the mouth of a surface of, of something that, uh, what do you call tzorfei zav? Blacksmith, blacksmiths use. Rabbi Yudayim, they lost his pit put in order to make a tripod with it. Subin, that's brand, they lit in a pikosh of tzorfei zav. To put it on the mouth of a bellow of those that use, work with gold. Sid is really, I think it's lie, right? That's the way I think they touch it. They lost it, katana shabbat That's in order to do, um, to to do small women, small girls, they use it as as a uh, hair removal. 
we'll see in the Gemara on that also. Rabbi Yehuda, I'm going to is Kalkal. Yehuda says it's in order to make a, a basket. Rabbi Nechemia, I'm going to say Lassud Umdaf. I don't know, not a basket. It's also, these things are all going to be different types of makeup situations or beauty things for women. Rabbi Nechemia, I'm going to say Undafi. Undafi. It's in order to put, um, it's going to be to flatten out the hair. Okay, we'll see in a block from now what all these things are. Okay. Why don't we say a rope is also chayev in order to make a hanger for the sifter and the sieve in the sifter, right? Why are we saying that a chevel is to hold up a box? So the Gemara answers, keep in the charek b'mana, lay off the inch. No, because if you use a rope, it's going to rip the box. By hanging it with the rope, it's too strong, so it's going to rip the box. So therefore, we have to take another. They, they didn't use that, so there was a different measurement. Torah baron, puts in k'day lasis oizen l'sal. Hutzin is is comes from uh, like a lulav, a lulav uh, leaf, a leaf of a lulav. Because the last is eyes on the south in order to make an ear, also thing to hang the basket on. The sal kfifa mitzvahs in order to to make it for a basket that's made out of of um, kfifa mitzvahs is Rashi says it's a basket made out of a wicker basket from a tree, from a date tree. What wicker basket? Wicker basket. As we touch it, okay. Thank you. Siv. So what's sieve? Um, that's the stuff that grows around the, the decal, around the day tree. It's, uh, I think it's sort of like a silk type thing. It's enough to put it over a small opening of a barrel in order to filter out the wine. Revev is fat in order to smear it under Aspergin katana. What's an aspergin katana? Aspergin is like a cake. So basically, you don't want your cake, you know, when you use, uh, what do you call it, Pam? Sort of like this is Pam. You don't want the cake to stick to the metal. So it would be enough to stick under this cake, aspergin cake, um, a small one, but it doesn't say how much is small. The Kama Shiura, Kisela, like a, like a coin. Batanika Grigris, although we learned the Grigris. So we say both in one share. Fine, Moichin, soft things. Can they last this kadur katana? Make a small ball. But Kamashiura, okay, goes, how big a small ball? Like a walnut. Fine. New York, they look like Kesha Moisin. So paper is enough to write on it um, a receipt for taxes. Ton of Kama Kesha Moisin. How much is a Kesha Moisin? Shtey Isis. Two letters. Right? Now Rashi points out here these, these are our letters which are smaller than the large letters. These are tax letters. I guess they wrote the letters a little smaller. Or a minute, I'll ask you a stira, which is what the Gemara is going to ask on that right now. I might say, you are if somebody find, somebody ca- ta- carries out smooth paper, meaning that was never written on it. Yes, but they look like stay icy ice. Chayev, if there's enough room on that paper to write two letters, Yichayev, him la potter, and if not, then he potter because it's not substantial enough if you carry it out. What does it mean? It means two ICS of Kesha Moisin. It's our two ICS. He's a plus a place to hold on to the paper, meaning you have to be able to hold the right two letters and hold on to the paper, which is a little more. The Hainu Kesha Moisin. So that's the star, that is the size of Kesha Moisin. Yeah, May says, and I ask the Kasha, how much in your Mochok if you take out? Erased paper of a star perua and a star that says that you a star that you already paid up, meaning an, an IOU note that you already paid up. So imyesh baluban shaloi. If in the white part of it, meaning in the margin, is could they lift a shtei oisias? There's enough to write two oisias. I be cool like they lift like a pitzufas katana shal payatan, or on the the whole piece of paper with the written part, which is useless now because you already paid back the loan. Enough to wrap it around this uh, vinaigrette thing. Chayev, so chayev, im lav, potter. And if you're not, you're potter. So now the one is going to say, Vishlam, lav, shay, so tamar, my, shay, 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 so you here you don't need the base achiza because it's already two letters. When it says kasha, it's a stira, so it is a kasha. Fine. Torah bar. Amaytu kasha moichsin. We carry out a tax receipt. Achalay harel lemoichus chayev. So basically, you 
you want to, you paid your taxes. So now you have a receipt that you paid it. So if you haven't yet showed it to the tax collector, so of course, by you carrying it around, it's substantial because you want to make sure you don't have to pay twice. You don't have to pay your taxes twice. So actually, if it's until you showed it to the, to the tax collector, once you show it to the tax collector, now it's a useless piece of paper. So you put it. Even when you show it to the Marcus, you have a shot of life because you need it. Okay, so now, my son of what the one sheet that says you still need it even after you show it to the tax collector, one says not. My bin, what's the difference between them? There are those that used to run around, these people that would run around after people to pay tax, right? Um, meaning they're basically chasing down people who didn't pay. So you want to be able to show them that you actually paid so they leave you alone. Right, so the first sheet uh, um, is saying that that's not enough of a reason. The second sheet, it, it is a reason. Rav Amar, I don't see how Rav is so much different than Abaya. Rav Amar, Moichus Gadol, Moichus Katan, Nikimenar. A Moichus Gadol and a Moichus Katan. Right? Um, so it's like, it's here, it's, I guess the difference is here, it sounds like it's a, uh, it's a toll. Right? So he's saying this, the difference is a large one and a small one. Right, because he has to show it to the second guy. You want to be able to show people, I am. Look, I'm a, I'm a tax-paying person. You know, that's one of the titles. I pay my taxes. I want to get my services. Right. So you want to have, you want to hold on to this piece of paper in order to show it. Yeah. Once we're on the subject, and since we're, uh, since it's much as Shabbos, I guess let's just do the next two dots. Why not? If you find a star choyv, right, meaning an IOU, that says somebody owes somebody else money. So if it wasn't paid back, you're chayiv, right, because um, the guy needs it to, to collect on his debt. But once it was paid off, so it's pot because it's worth it. So even once he paid his chayiv, because he needs it. The difference between them is whether you hold that it's also for you to hold on to a star that was already paid up. You're not allowed to hold on to a star for rule because what happens if it gets out of the hands and the guy your guy can collect twice for the same star? No, it's mutter to hold on to a star for rule. So therefore, since it's mutter, you're going to be chayv if you carry it. Why says not everybody else? It's also to hold on to a star for And here they're having a disagreement whether somebody admits that the star is a legit star. Does he have to prove it or not? If even if you agree that it was written, you should be okay. Still, they hold that you have to be mekayimit, meaning with daidim, to prove that it was a legitimate star. Rabbi Yudah holds that you don't have to be Mekayimit, so therefore, if you carry it on Shabbos, it wouldn't be a problem. What does it mean that from when it was not paid and when it was paid? Actually, um, until he says, I paid uh, either I mean, this guy's not, uh, what do you call it? multiple personality disorder over here. He's saying, I paid, I didn't pay. No. It means either he says, the Levi says, I paid, in which case there's no longer you'd be potter. But Loi Parati, if I didn't pay, then he would be chai because he needs, you need that star. Everybody holds it. If you admit to the star, you have to, you, you still have to be a kami. They're having a machlaikis whether you write a receipt. Tanakama Savar Kais and Shaiva. The Tanakama says you write a Shaiva. Rabbi Yudha Savar ain't Kais and Shaiva. Rabbi Yudha says you don't write a Shaiva. Rabbi Ashi Yom Rabbi Nisha Tzarek Laharosi Lebal Chayv Sheni, because you want to show it to the another Bal Chayv. Darmalei Chazi Gavra the Parana. The reason why you maybe you'd you'd want to hold on to it is, um, um, because you want to be able to use it as like uh, to hire your credit score, because you're able to show the next guy, hey, you see, I do pay. See, I have a receipt. I do pay. So therefore, it's it's actually worth something. All right, I'm sorry for the uh, for the for the boring daf. I don't know. I want to be pagan on any daf in shas, but all right, this is what it is. All right, fine. A good draw. Uh, By the way, <laughs> yeah, go enough to you to defend yourself.
Yeah, I looked it up. Okay, I made a mistake. Of course, <laughs> Webster was right. Go ahead. What? What's the plan to make up for Shavuos? He's muted. My gosh. What? What are you oh, saying, okay. Landau? I, if I don't get muted by uh, by parrots, we I was saying that you you, 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 you stop eating your pizza and stuffing your face. Don't your be fingers, jealous because I didn't pick you maybe, up. Maybe, maybe we did not touch the mute button, man. These Nazis <laughs> are all off tonight. Uh, anyway, uh, you lose five percent of your baby weight in the first week. That's what I was mixing up. Anyway, ah, so so okay. what you're saying is that a baby on the second day it's born is actually a smaller, might have a smaller, um, yeah, aver than. Okay. I don't think the aver gets smaller. It's fat versus limbs. That could be. Yeah. Um, quick question while I have your attention. Um, uh, 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 melting butter on a blech. Like, let's say you put a bread and then you put butter on Shabbos. Is that allowed? Melt. What do you want to do? Piece of, put a piece of bread on a blech with butter and have the heat melt the butter. You can't put a piece of bread on a blech. It's chazara. Cooked, fully cooked. Doesn't make a difference. You're not allowed to, unless it meets the five requirements, which is it's still in your hand, and it's already hot, and uh, Shabbos morning. And you have to have in mind to take. No, it's no. You can't put it on there. No. How does Shabbos morning you put food on a blech, a kugel, or whatever it is? What do you mean? On a hot can't, plate. Uh, you can't. You're talking about a hot plate or a blast? Hot plate, hot plate. I meant hot plate. Ah, it's a different animal. Okay, hot different plate, animal. Do you want to put it on the hot plate? Piece of bread on a hot plate with an inverted pan, I should add. An inverted pan. I'm a shpruma guy, yeah. I'm a guy. Machala, whatever it is, piece of bread with a, a butter, margarine, whatever, and, um, and, and, and have the heat melted. One second, you're melting the margarine on top of the bread on the blech, or after it gets hot from the blech, you melt no, it? No, 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 while it's, on the, while it's on, the, on the hot plate. Will the margarine be able to get to Yad lettuce? Probably not, oh, right? No. But aren't you changing the state of the butter? He's asking if it's oil or if it's to change it to liquid. I'm changing mm. it from, from solid to liquid. Am I changing the... Biaco, if that's the case, I can make grilled cheese also. Could very well be that you can. Who says you can't? Who says you can't? So I'm not changing the consistency? I'm not changing the form? So the whole, thing is, it's going look, right into the bread. It's going right into the bread. Right. Right. Now it's going, it's going right into the bread. Right. So it's what, Derek Achila? I'm saying you're like literally using it for, a, right, by right, preparing it for when you're about to eat? No, it never turns into a liquid. What? The butter. If it goes Doesn't straight into a bread. Right, right, so it's not moily. Yeah, it's going straight into the bread, so the, yeah, it should be okay. Yeah. Tell you, you got to stop muting yourself. Stop nah, muting. They keep on muting me. You know what? <laughs> We're all looking to the day that he gets muted, so don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying if you did it in a bowl, if you did it in a bowl, it, would be, it wouldn't be good. Yes, and a bowl oh, will be no good. Up. Correct. All right. and a bowl will be. My right, parents, we... parents, mute me, parents, parents, mute me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is your yeah. is open or no? Very little bit. Very little. They had two. Officially, they wanted to make two million. They didn't open it to the public yet, just for like on hollow or whatever. So they had a, uh, I think a million of twelve. That's it. They're That's supposed to have a two million and one upstairs and one in the dining room. Um. But now I heard that the city said you can only have 10, or the governor said 10 in one building, and that's it. No, no 10 in different rooms. Right. Yeah, so obviously we're going to have to wait and see what's the story here with Shavuos. You should talk to your brother's minion then. They have Jacob, four minions in the same Jacob, room. Jacob, we have Shia Shavuos now? Yeah, don't, don't talk to me on my brother's minion. It's a, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. Jacob, but we're not, I'm not talking about 